Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Harris Philadelphia Raceway here on Sunday. It is May the 24th, 2015. I'm going to look at the stakes races here. Races 10, 11, and 12. Really good card from Harris Philadelphia. If you want more selections for the whole card from Harris Philadelphia, please follow me at Twitter, at 316 picks on Twitter. So uh, the link will be down in the description box here. So let's get on to it. Today's 10th race was the Jerry Taylor Invitational. It's one mile pace here for $150,000. Uh, we do have a field of eight paces going to post, and I'm going to go with the five match it. So Tim Tietrich in the Sulky at odds of five two. Last time out, throw Harris Philadelphia on the 10th of May in an open handicap for $30,000. Finished second by half length that day with Tim Tietrich in the Sulky. He's top heavy and pressed and just weakened in the uh, final stages of the race. The Yonkers Raceway on the 25th of April and the Levi Final for $529,000. Finished it by two lengths again that day. It was part of an entry. He had just had a late traffic. Did break from the seven hole, so breaking from all the way out there. It does have an excuse. And then the Yonkers Raceway on the 18th of, of uh, April in the uh, Levi Eliminations for $50,000. One by one quarter lengths that day. I had... Again, hit a strong move and was just the best that day. The break from the inside, not from far hard that day, so I had a decent post position. And the Yonkers on the 11th of April and Levi Elimination for 50000 Again, three seconds by one quarter lengths. He uh, broke and was just out kick that day. I'm um, going to go with this one here. Looks hard to beat at 5 2, so we can my best race in 10 from Harris, Philadelphia. I'm going to go with the 5. And let's go on to race number 11 from Harris, Philadelphia. What is the Betsy Ross Invitational for Mayors? One mile pace here. Field of eight courses, and I'm gonna go with three. Raider contact at nine to two. John Campbell and Sulky last time out. Don't the metal lanes on the 15th of May in open hand cap for Phillies Mayors for 30,000. Finished second by two and a half lengths that day. He just used his own and just uh, clipped and just weakened that day. And then the metal lanes on the 1st of May in an open hand cap for Phillies Mayors for $27,500. Went easily by a length. Um, he's had just had a perfect, perfect trip that day. And then the 24th of April at the Mount Lanson Open Handicap, 27 and a half. Finished second by nose. He was uh, the top rate and was just had a very game uh, try that day. Did break from post position number eight that day. Um, so does have a decent excuse. He needs post position number six. It's not uh, the ideal post position for that horse. Um, really liked this horse today. For the first time on a 5 ace track since the 27th of May, as I was here at Philadelphia, and the winners of 25 or over $25,000 or over. Um, finished second by three and a half lengths. He used uh, speed at the rate and yielded and was clear second that day. Um, so going with this one, so count my bets. Race number 11 from Harris Philadelphia. It's the best Dewey Ross invitation. I'm going to go with the three. Now let's get on to race number 12 from Harris Philadelphia. What is the Maxi Lee Memorial Invitational? It's a one mile trot here. We do have a feel of a going for this trotters. And I'm going to go with number five, Arthur Patrick, at 7 to 2. So he, he looks very, very hard to beat here. Um, last time out, throwing the uh, metal lens in a qualifier. He's uh, going to go to qualify first. Qualified uh, last weekend at the metal lens. And uh, 152 flat, one easily by four and a half points. His speed was very sharp that day. Um, has three qualifiers this year. Another qualifier in the first of May in 153 and three, one easily again by four lengths. Uh, it was just effortlessly winning that day. And then the 25th first qualifier of the year that was on April 25th at the Meadowlands qualified in 154 and four. Finished second by one quarter lengths. He stayed in the pocket. That was the horse's first qualifier or first any kind of race in a while since uh, the 22nd of November in the Breeders' Cup Final women, uh, Breeders Cup final, the three-year-olds for $500,000. Won by neck that day. He floated top and was rated and had a really good uh, safe trip that day. Um, it did not run in the eliminations, actually. Um, but they had a qualifier before that. One by three-quarters length in 154 flat. He was float top and had the best rate. Um... This horse ran the matron last year at Dover Downs and had a horrible trip. He finished eighth, broke at the beginning of the race, and just after that, had no chance of it. 
Um, but uh, if this horse doesn't break, I think this horse could really win. Had a really, really good year last year. This horse was three old of the year, something like that. Two, maybe he was a champion of something. I think it was two year old or three year old. I think. I'm not positive on that. But I really like this horse here. You're going to have Jim Run for Jimmy Tacker. Sir Cat My Back's Racing 12 from here, Philadelphia. It's the Maxi Lee Stakes. I'm going to go with the five. Good luck to all.